Today, we learned Philadelphia is working on its plan for contact tracing of COVID-19 cases. The city is making the progress toward the goal of reopening safely. But as Natasha Brown reports, the death toll is still climbing. I do have some sad news to report uh, today, unfortunately, on deaths. Philadelphia health officials report the largest number of COVID-19 deaths in a single day. We have confirmed 78 new deaths. Let me explain why it is we got that large number in one day. That came mostly from our matching two different databases. We have a database of uh, cases that are reported to us, people with a confirmed coronavirus test. And then we have death certificates, people who died. And so much of this appears to be people who were reported to us as positive before, and then later we found out that they died. Despite the day's death toll, the city continues to see a downward spiral in positive coronavirus cases. Health officials say progress is being made in the fight against this pandemic. Work continues now to hire contact tracers who will help to mitigate the spread of the virus. Contact tracing is, is interviewing people who have the infection, find out who they might have been close to, so who they might have exposed the infection to, and then contacting those contacts, those people that they are nearby, and telling them that they need to go into quarantine so that if they develop the infection, they don't spread the infection any further. A set number of hires hasn't been established and will depend on the budget, but health experts say their role will be critical once the number of cases per day are manageable. Primary skills we're looking for really are interpersonal skills, deal with people's fears and concerns and give them appropriate information. While the city is far from the state's recommended criteria of 55 cases per day for reopening, even when that goal is reached, establishing confidence in the community will continue to be a priority. If we get to the point of opening uh, in the southeast region, people still have to feel comfortable enough and safe enough uh, to go out to a restaurant, go out to a retail outlet. Uh, people will have to feel safe uh, going out and doing the things they used to do in a different way. Natasha Brown, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.